What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm gonna show you how I caught and cooked this beautiful, delicious, grilled, freshly caught, grilled redfish with some veggie kebabs and some other stuff, but mostly redfish. Coming up. So it's like four in the morning. We're in the airport because it's really hot in Texas and that only can mean one thing. Beach, beach, let's go to the beach. Coming up. It's really early in the morning and I don't like it. How much sleep did you get? One wink. <laughs> you hear that folks? A single wink. I'm sleepy. Made it to Virginia Beach, just picked up our rental and uh, not too shabby for luck of the draw. What do you think of this? It's kind of sick. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, a Challenger? Yeah. Never driven a Challenger before. Made it to Virginia Beach. We're here. Last time you were standing here, you were getting pinched by crabs. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we may have to reenact that. <laughs> Gotta say, I've been coming to this house for 32 years and this is the first time I've ever been here without my parents. What a, I don't know. <laughs> Kinda weird, I feel like I'm finally an adult. But we need to get some supplies because this fridge has got no Miller Lite in it. Yeah, she empty. Gotta say, this thing is pretty fun to drive. Handles a little bit better than my Tacoma. Anywho, bold walk. Boardwalk. Kind of a gross day. It's been pouring for the last few hours and uh, not an exciting way to enter the beach vacation. And it looks like it's gonna rain this whole time, which is kind of a bummer. But that being said, we just made a supply run. We got all the essentials, you know, some beer, some bourbon, some bacon, some beef. And then of course I had to swing by Wally World and grab myself one of these big old fishing poles. So now I'm gonna go test it out real quick before it gets too dark. This is not going well. Seas are real rough, the wind is out of control, but still having fun. Oh my God, against all odds, just like four casts in. Check this out. How you doing, buddy? Woo! That's a big boy. Let's compare that to my size 14 croc. It's the biggest fish I've ever caught by myself. Ooh, hell yeah. First catch of the trip. We're gonna let this one go. Hope I don't come to regret this. And there he goes. So it is day three at Virginia Beach. Yesterday was a pretty rainy day, really nasty, forward all day long. So we spent most of the day inside, got some editing done, did some computer work, you know, typical beach vacation stuff. Went out for a nice dinner, got myself some Franzino, very good stuff. And now it is six in the morning and I'm out here trying to catch another fish. Pretty much got the beach to myself. But like I said the other night, I really hope I don't regret letting that beautiful redfish go. But I didn't know the size limits. I honestly didn't know what it was at the time. I was pretty sure it was a redfish. Turns out it was, or a red drum. I don't know, they have different names. Anywho, got my little setup here. Got some coffee, little chair, pole, and we got some shrimp as bait. That's what I caught the last fish on, a little drop rig here. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I caught one fish and that's a good sign. So let's see if we can catch some lunch. I think we got something. Oh, it feels like a big boy. Yep, definitely got something. Come on, Bessie. Ride the waves for me. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, looks like another redfish. How we doing, bud? Not too bad. Yeah. About time. After two hours of nothing. 25 inches, folks. That's a keeper. Yeah. I was literally just about to give up too. We didn't have a nibble all day. It's been like two and a half, three hours almost. But we got ourselves some lunch. Hey buddy. Beauty. Beauty. That is an amazing way to start the day. Although I gotta say, bro, I'm not used to starting my day at like 4 a.m. I think it's time for a cup of coffee. This video is brought to you by Cometeer. I've talked about Cometeer on my channel before because I am genuinely a huge fan of their coffee. If you're unfamiliar with Cometeer coffee, they make these little capsules of freshly brewed coffee that they then flash freeze at super cold temperatures to lock in all the flavors and aromas. And it truly is the fastest, most convenient way to get a quality cup of coffee first thing in the morning. It really couldn't be simpler. Open it up, drop in your little frozen coffee nugget and top with hot water. And just like that, you've got a beautiful cup of piping hot coffee in like 10 seconds. Putting these hot moms, I'm much more of a fan of iced coffee. Same deal, just let it melt a little bit, pour it on top, in with some water. Beautiful iced coffee in seconds. Mm. 
and you can get real creative with this stuff. You know, replace that water with some milk or some almond milk. Get yourself a little latte situation going on. Could not be simpler. <sighs> Now my absolute favorite thing about Comet here is that you can bring it with you. You know, I've been doing a lot of traveling this year and every time I go to a new city, my least favorite thing is having to wake up and go find a coffee shop somewhere, then I end up taking a dump in public and I just don't like it. But by bringing some Comet here with me, I can make an instant iced coffee or hot coffee in the hotel room and get my day started. And it works itself out to be about a dollar per cup, which is cheaper than any coffee you're gonna find at a coffee shop. But it tastes just as good. These ship frozen right to your door. You can sign up for monthly deliveries so you never run out. I highly recommend recommend it. So if you want to give Cometeer coffee a try for a very limited time, Cometeer is offering a huge discount of 50% off your first order plus free shipping using my link. Again, link in the description of this video to try Cometeer coffee where you can get 50% off your order plus free shipping. Definitely worth it. You don't want to miss out on this deal. Thank you, Cometeer. Mm. Ba bam And here is our catch du jour. Pulled this guy out of the water like two hours ago. He was dispatched humanely and then bled out. Slipped the gills, let him bleed out. And I've had him in the fridge to chill out for a little bit. And now it's time to get some beautiful fillets. But I gotta say, what a beautiful fish. Thank you, mighty hero, for feeding me and Brooke. Much appreciated. Beauty, beauty. Got two spots on this one. So again, this needs to be between 18 and 26 inches to be legal. Now that we're on dry land, let's see from tip to snout we are looking at a solid 24 inches so a perfect size if you ask me now when it comes to butchering fish i've done it maybe twice in my entire life so you're gonna have to bear with me on this one because i don't really know what i'm doing and i don't think this is the proper knife although this is all reliable so we're gonna see how it goes so we're gonna start behind the old pectoral fin here and just go right on through Whew, some tough scales off to a good start folks then we're gonna flip him this way right down to the spine and we're just gonna where is that pesky spine and we're just gonna follow this trying to stay as close to the bones as possible all the way down just gonna go all the way very excited folks i've been wanting to do a catch and cook for a long time got some rib bones up front here and there we go. That's a nice looking filet of redfish, if you ask me. We're leaving the skin on because we're going to be cooking this on the half shell. You know, not too shabby. Definitely left some meat on here, but for the first time, could be worse. Pull all this meat off for a little, little snack or something. Man, those scales are tough. All right, let's try the other side. Every morning I wake up, right down to the spine. Yeah, I think a more flexible knife would be ideal, but we're getting the job done, folks. Gonna hug these bones a little tighter this time. And these rib bones. How can we do this? We'll go, we'll go at this angle. Oh, nice. And there we go, beautiful filet number two. Oh, it smells so fresh. Love it. You know, not too shabby. We'll have to get some more practice while we're here. I'm gonna make a fish stock out of that. Should we try and save this little uh, nugget right here? Don't see why not. Really glad I brought my own knives because the ones at this place are uh, uh, not ideal. Yoink. There we go. That'll be a good little snack for the grill. Little fish wings. Try to slice it in half. Little butterfly action. That's going on the grill. Do these guys have cheeks? Little cheek. Not much, but I probably didn't take that out right. And there we have it, folks. My first attempt at pulling a fish out of the ocean and breaking it down to go onto the grill. We are pretty much there. Head and body and guts and whatnot over there. Little cheek nugget. These little guys. That'll be tasty. But we still got to finish these because there's still some bones in here. Rib bones. So we're going to just go ahead and slice those on out of here. Definitely losing a little bit of meat, but uh, those bones feel pretty thick. I don't know if I'd be able to pluck those out. Take some of this extra skin off. Starting to understand why most fishermen use those electric knives but as far as i can tell we are now left with two beautiful clean boneless skin on redfish fillets let's throw them on the grill All right, Brooke, I am not well-versed in vegetables, so I need you to help me assemble these skewers. I think first, a mater. Do we go through the butthole or through the center? I'm going right through the tuck. Tuck is... Oh, ye. Oh. oh, I did mine fancier than you. Onion. Onion? Yeah. Zooch Nini? I did mine all fancy sideways. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go yellow Zooch next. Okay, I got one of everything, so I think one more tomato at the end. The most vegetables I've ever shown in one shot on this channel. Eh? Oh, 
All right, prep is done. We have got our beautiful fillets of red fish looking good to go. We've got our little veggie kebabs ready to go. This is a little olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, onion, and some chili flakes with a little salt in there. We're gonna be brushing that and basting that over these veg while they cook. So I'm gonna hit these with a little salt and pepper and then it'll be time to fire up the grill. Got some diamond crystal kosher salt and uh, Brooke, do we have any black pepper? We've got some 16 mesh black pepper on sale now at shopchuds.com. <laughs> That's me! Nice plug. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with that. Keeping it real simple today, folks. There it is, the trusty old Weber. Get this out of here. I think we're gonna start out by getting these kebabi bobs fired off real quick. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to veggies, but I'm just trying to soften them up, get some color on there. Can't be too hard, right? So we're about 10 seconds in and I'm just now realizing that I probably should have soaked these skewers because they are burning up immediately. Nah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> ah. Oh God, who let me cook vegetables? This was a terrible idea. They're yeah, looking pretty good though. Oh goodness, what a disaster. No one ever said I was a well-rounded cook. Oh, they're looking pretty tasty. You know, all things considered, these don't look half bad. Drizzle some of that sauce on top. Yes, please. All right, for the main event, let's get these beautiful fishy fishies on, shall we? Pop that guy over. Ooh, this grill is ripping. Beautiful. Just gonna close her up. Gotta say. I could get used to this lifestyle. Stones throw from the ocean next to my sweet new ride. Throwing a freshly caught fish on the Weber. Drinking a yingling. <sighs> Today is a good day. Looking pretty good, folks. I think we're gonna hit it with some of this oil. Add a little fat to the party, a little flavor, a little smoke, why not? That smells real nice. Get some crispy skin going on this guy too, shall we? Well, these are looking pretty much done. I kinda wanna get some color on the top, but to be honest, I really don't wanna flip them over and risk breaking them, so uh... <laughs> Beautiful. A little more of this wonderful oil. And we'll paint some on this guy for funsies. Get this guy nice and charred up, shall we? Oh, this is smelling so good. Moink. Oh, yes, please. Oh no, what a shame. Luckily, that's a perfect portion size. Inside we go. Fresh off the grill, and of course, I had to throw a little butter on top to melt down and just make this extra tasty. Beautiful pile of veg. Oh, I'm ready to eat. Brooke, what do you think about this? I'm so excited. Josephine! Well, who do we have here? Hi! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Hi, Dad! Brad. This is what Brad just cooked. Oh my goodness! Right? You caught this fish? I caught it this morning. What kind of fish is it? It's a red fish. Red drum. Wow, it smells delicious. It's huge. It's a big boy. Did you do kebabs? I did, yeah. All the skewers burned up, so now it's just a veggie medley. <laughs> How about this chunk that I already conveniently broke off? That one. Now you don't need to eat the skin and I don't recommend it. It's covered in scales. Okay. Fish should be nice and tender. We got our grilled veggie medley, not kebabs. Very nice. Oh, this looks so good. Flaky. This might be the freshest seafood you ever eat. Are there other people down there fishing? No, not on a rainy Sunday morning. The veggies are perfect too. You hear that folks? I can cook veggies. I was doubting myself earlier. Nice and flaky, nice and white. It's not dry. That is lovely fish though. Nice and white. Mm-hmm. Mm. Perfectly flaky. Fresh out of the ocean. Gotta love that. Yeah, veggies aren't bad. All right, mm. I'm gonna finish this off camera. All right, y'all, that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic grilled redfish on the half shell, freshly caught out of the ocean on the Weber kettle. I gotta say, that was absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend it if you ever get the chance. I'm really surprised you don't see redfish or red drum on menus more often because it was a lovely eating fish. Nice and tender, nice and flaky, very delicious stuff. But all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button and dropping a like on this video. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I'd love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chun, allowing me to keep making all these videos. And if you like these catch and cook vlog style episodes, let me know in the comments below because I will gladly make more videos like this. But all that said, thank you for watching and please go cook something outside. Peace.